everybody. EXO coming at you here with something pretty freaking exciting. I mean, after all, I've been in the car audio community for years and years, almost 10 years just here on YouTube. And over all of that time, I have never found something as cool as what I'm about to show you. Imagine if you could monitor your voltage from your smartphone, like wirelessly, wherever if you're inside, outside demoing, you can see the disparities, the changes, and all of it right at your fingertips. Well, it's actually a reality, guys. I just went to Slamology this year. Andrew Showers from B2 Audio told me about this. It's a battery monitor with Bluetooth 4.0, so you can walk quite a distance away from it and still get voltage from your system right on your smartphone. And that's what this video is gonna be about. We're gonna install this in little blue here. After all, we go to the supermarket, do some jamming on the way there, and it would be great to monitor and to log, more importantly, to log that voltage over time. This has a little app that you download right from the Google Play Store that you can show you a graph. Literally, it will graph out your voltage over time um, from high to low. We're gonna use this right on the bus bars that connect all of our batteries together. So hopefully that'll be a nice point to get us a accurate voltage. And uh, boy, oh boy, I am excited, guys. Let's get this bad boy in there. Quick information here, it will work from 6 to 20 volts, has a short circuit protection, and will store data up to 35 days on your voltage system. the meter all plugged in positive and negative had to skip the negative on film because it was really close to the amplifier couldn't fit my camera back there anyways so right now we're gonna go on our phone select our Bluetooth mode and find this bad boy on our list oh hell yeah guys look at this thing working like a charm wireless voltmeter right here and I have my graph going just underneath it connected with Bluetooth 4.0 right on the bus bars. Check it out, guys. We got the battery charger up there um, underneath the hood and it knows it. It knows that we are charging. So let's go ahead and go uh, back up to the hood and turn it off and see what it displays uh, after that. at 13.37 volts and the software that came with the program still uh, recognizes this as charging because a lot of cars only charge at like 13 and a half volts so that makes sense that the algorithm is still telling the software to say charging all right so here's another graph we can look at you can actually plot along the line and see where your voltage went up and down along that but since it's been on for such a short period of time we only have very little to choose from but as the days go on we'll be able to monitor this with even more scrutiny let's go ahead and turn the charger back on here right in front of the vehicle she's going to slowly climb back up to the 14 volt range all right as you can see we just reached 14 volts uh, about halfway into our charge cycle before we reach 14.4 but to make sure our, our our results are very accurate right here i have our nice expensive scope 440 uh, multimeter we're going to test the voltage with the probes on the bus bars compared to our bluetooth meter which is also connected to those bus bars so let's go to dc uh, volts we have everything all probed up on the bars and let's compare the two 14.09 compared to 14.08 so that's about one one hundredth two one hundredths off and in the manual it said that would be about the only disparity you'll notice 0 0.02 volts to 0 0.03 but guys I gotta say that's damn near perfect especially for how awesome the function is Pretty decent that with the trunk closed we can walk all the way to the end of the driveway right to the mailbox so that's definitely more than 30 feet
So it's good to know that it will go the distance even when your trunk is closed. Let's get a little bit more information here, shall we? Because we can turn this to on its side and start getting day-to-day -day information. We let the editing process go a little bit longer so we can include more information. We started filming this video on the 11th. Now that is highlighted in red because there's a lot of changes going on because we did some, uh, we started the engine, we moved the car, and you can actually see that represented right here. And you can bring your finger along the line and see all of those things that happened. So now let's go to the other day when we had to move the car out of Frankenstein's way uh, to do the brakes. I believe that was the 13th. Right there, you can see we moved our car at 1700 hours, and we also moved our car the day before that in the morning, or maybe it was the day after that, right here in the morning. Check it out. You can see that at 9 a.m., 10 a.m., we were moving this car all over the place. Uh, it was getting a charge. And then you can bring your thing right along here and check out how, f how long it took to go from your peak voltage all the way down. So I, I really like this feature. Let's go to just today, or the 16th. We had a whole day of just sitting on the 16th that we didn't move the car. And today is the 17th. We didn't do really do much at all today with the car either. So that graph is slowly coming down. We're at 13.27 right now. So there she is. Definitely a cool little device, wanted to share that with you guys. So I'll be, I have a couple of those, so hit me up if you wanna check it out for yourself. Um, you know, it's definitely pretty cool. So until the next video, stay tuned for, you know, some great testing videos with both this car and of course Frankenstein. We just replaced all of the brakes on it. So I can't wait to get that thing back rolling. So I'll talk to you guys in the next video. This is EXO signing out.